Hey guys, Moss is here from Zelda Dungeon, and uh, welcome to the second video in the Zelda Dungeon mailbag, or rather, the snail version of the mailbag. This is actually letters and packages that were sent to me via the Zelda Dungeon P.O. Box, which is in the description below. But um, I'm going to be doing these videos on, I don't know, whenever I have enough letters. Uh, we actually got a ton of letters because uh, we were promoting it during the Zelda Dungeon Marathon. So the majority of these letters are focused around the Zelda Dungeon Marathon, so to get the full context. But uh, let's just jump right into it. Uh, first message comes from Brian Simpson of Florida. And he writes, so it's Brian writes, Hey ZD, hi. You guys are awesome. Whenever I need Zelda-related help, I know where to go. I've been watching the marathon all day. You need to do this more often. Hope you are having fun. I know I am. From Brian. Uh, well, thanks for watching, Brian, the Zelda Dungeon Marathon, which concluded last Friday, or really Saturday, early morning. Uh, we will be doing more streams. Uh, just check our twitch.tv channel and uh, between Trevor, myself, and some of the other staff members, we will be streaming fairly often and I hope to do more of that in the future. Uh, in terms of full-blown marathons, we'll be doing some of those uh, over the course of time. No announcements yet. Uh, okay, moving on. Next message comes from Wesley of the Colony, Texas. And Wesley writes, Dear ZD staff, it is probably too late, but the stream is going great. That rhymes. I am a big fan of Zelda Dungeon, so I think this is awesome. Mossies and Tom, work on your Minish Cap skills. I would love to be a part of this app, but every time uh, I submit, it says unable to submit. Hmm. Good luck, guys. Wesley. Um, <laughs> working on our Minish Cap skills, referring to... Uh, the huge embarrassing failure, which was Tom trying to beat Vati in uh, the Minish Cap, which I think he died, I want to say six times or five or six times. Then I took over and died three times and then finally beat him. It's actually a tough ending. Probably one of the most difficult endings of uh, any Zelda game. At least it takes some practice. But uh, thanks for the email, Wesley. Or email. <laughs> what ancient technology email? We're doing regular mail now. Uh, anyway, next message comes from Brennan of Riverton, Vermont. Brennan asks, Dear Masis and Caleb, I've been a big fan of your walkthroughs and the marathon so far. I think you've probably heard these questions before, but I'll ask them anyway. Here's my list of questions, and hopefully you guys can reply soon. What are your guys' favorite non-Zelda related games? For me, uh, Mega Man 2 for the NES, uh, Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo, uh, obviously Darksiders for uh, you know, Darksiders Dungeon, uh, Resident Evil, the remake for the GameCube. Big fan of the Silent Hill series, or at least the older games. Uh, there's a collection of them. A lot of old stuff on the NES Super Nintendo as well. Are you recording the marathon, the Zelda gameplay, without the commentary? Uh, no, but uh, Twitch.tv does have the entire marathon archive, so you can check it out at our Twitch.tv channel. Are you going to do this marathon annually, like E3? Uh, I'm not willing to commit to annually, but we will be doing future marathons, to what extent, what games we play, when they're hosted, all that is up in the air. Uh, let's just say we'll be doing these in the future. Not sure how often. Will you guys have the entire Zelda dungeon sign the reply letter? Unfortunately, we can't do that because, well, Caleb is back in Alaska, Justin's back in Minnesota, Josh is back in Wisconsin, Tom is in Ohio, Mosley's in Kentucky, Trevor's in New York. They all came in for the marathon, so uh, only I'm here left. Sorry, didn't get to your letter quick enough. I hope you guys will do a Master Quest video walkthrough for Ocarina of Time and a Wind Waker video walkthrough. Hope to see your reply soon. Um, we will be doing more video walkthroughs. Uh, they take a long time to work on, so uh, just stay tuned. We have something in the pipeline right now. Uh, probably won't be ready for quite a while, but uh, something is being worked on, so... Uh, we haven't forgotten about them. Thanks for your letter, Brendan. Uh, next letter comes from uh, Julia of... I can't really read that location. But Julia writes, Zelda Dungeon, I love you guys so much. Aww. I've been a member of the forums for a while now and constantly read the new articles. When I heard about this marathon, I knew I had to watch. 
I decided to skip school all this week to watch. Uh, I'm moving on Saturday, so basically I skipped out on saying goodbye to all my friends to watch your marathon. I honestly regret nothing. Thank you guys so much for doing this. You're doing such a good, great job. Keep it up. And just so you know, I really wanted to donate but can't online. At this point, I feel like I might write a new letter each day out of love for ZD and the staff. Forever a fangirl, nerd at heart. Well, Julia, um, you shouldn't skip school. Uh, saying goodbyes to friends is more important than the Zelda Under Marathon, and uh, I think it'd be kind of creepy if you wrote us every day, but thanks for the letter nevertheless. Uh, however, um, <laughs> the next day we got a second letter from Julia. We have an admirer. Ooh. Zelda Dungeon, still watching your marathon. It's the most epic thing ever, even if it is behind schedule. Now, we didn't far, fall too far behind schedule. It's, you know, we did play through all the games. I've barely gotten any sleep and still haven't been able to pack for my moving. Don't worry, I can still get the letter you send back. Masix, please don't shave the fro. And I hate... Hate Wind Waker just as much as you do, maybe more. Okay, let's get one thing straight. I don't hate the Wind Waker. It's one of my favorite Nintendo GameCube games. My least favorite Zelda game. Just to get that out out there, it's kind of misleading saying I hate anything. Um, and the fro. I used to have very long hair that got shaved live during the Zelda marathon. I think Trevor's uploading a video about it. So, uh, Gooey, I definitely downloaded one of your albums and I love it. I wish I could come out to see you all play live. I love all you guys so much. And uh, she read some other stuff that I cannot really read. But uh, Julia, thank you for your letters. I sure hope you don't continue to write these every single day because that would be a little obnoxious and creepy and a whole bunch of other things that I don't really know how to describe them. But thanks for your letter. Um, Next letter is actually a postcard from Germany. Or, I think Germany, yeah. Or, oh, is this from the Netherlands? I don't know. Uh, this card will probably be late uh, for the stream, but I want to wish you all good luck with the Zelda games. This German internet doesn't work well with the stream, so I will miss most of it. Anyways, there's some stuff in different language, and it's from Smitty, from Deutschland. If I'm pronouncing that right. Smitty is a longtime forum member and a former staff member and all around awesome person. So, uh, thanks for the postcard. Uh, Smitty, much appreciated. Deut Deutschland. I love that name. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Alright, next letter comes from the Master Link 10 Games from Oklahoma. And he writes Dear Zelda Dungeon. I am the Master Link 10 Games, or Eric, well-known walkthrough creator, and it was inspired by your work. Oh, I now am a success, writing for Discovery by the Fine Arts. I'm a huge fan of you, and would like to ask you some questions. Excuse me. Question one. Oh my goodness. Could I have some ties to making tips to making a walkthrough a good one? I only do video ones. Uh, Oh man, there's so much. That's such a loaded question. It just the biggest thing is take patience. Don't rush to get it out there. Take your time, finish it, polish it, do all that stuff, then release it. What is your favorite Zelda game? A link to the past, of course. What was your first Zelda game? The original Legend of Zelda. Didn't really know it was Zelda. It was just the game with the gold cartridge. Are you going to make a Mario dungeon? People have talked about it at the network. Currently, it is not in our immediate plans. Can I buy any Zelda collectibles off you? If so, what do you have and how much would I have to pay if they are not free? Uh, I'm a collector myself, so I don't want to give away any of my collections. Uh, there are times when I do get duplicate items, and uh, in fact, they're few and far between, but some of those I will probably uh, give away as I give away contests and such. So, uh, thanks for the letter from the Master Link 10 Games of Oklahoma. Uh, yeah. Uh, moving right ahead. Our next letter comes from Unknown. No name. And he writes, 
Zelda Dungeon people. That's us. Or me. And people that are not with me right now. I thought it would be funny to write a letter in Japanese, but I should say something in English, so good luck. Sean. Okay, well, Sean wrote this, which I cannot read Japanese. I don't even know if I'm holding this in the right uh, direction. Um, if anybody is actually fluent in Japanese and can translate this, uh, if you can't really read it, perhaps I can scan it. Maybe it, is it supposed to go this way? Or is that Chinese? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, Sean, I guess, thank you for your letter. I don't really know what it means. I'm sure, you know, this could be, in fact, mean something incredibly cryptic or creepy or... Yeah. Thanks for the letter, though. Alright, next letter comes from... Who's this? Joe of Glen Carbon, Illinois. Joe writes... Dear Zelda Dungeon, I'm a huge fan of the site and game series. I've played all the games except Link's Awakening and Zelda 2. I watched most of the marathon and enjoyed it a lot. Thank you for making a memorable occasion that I will remember this summer. I hope you get this letter on time, and if, you would, and if it would not trouble you, can you get some signatures? I've enclosed a sheet, and you can sign there. Thanks, Mossy's Caleb, and all the other staff members. I appreciate an autograph a lot. Sincerely, Joe. And uh, he printed out a picture with all of the different, some of the various different Zelda icons with lines. I guess that's where we're supposed to sign. Unfortunately, most of the people have gone away to far away states. Um, I will send you something, though. Uh, thanks for the return letter as well. And uh, I appreciate the letter. Thanks for watching the marathon. And uh, yeah, much appreciated. All right, next letter comes from, still got about five more, so hang in there. There's a few goodies in here too, so. Next one from, comes from Kaylee, or Kylie, of Palmdale, California. Kylie writes, Dear Zelda Dungeon, Well, hiya, I'm writing this at 10.08 p.m. Pacific time. Tom just handed the controller to Masis because he gave up on beating body. I believed in you, Tom. Anyways, I'm probably not going to be able to watch the entire marathon, but I'll do my best. i honestly probably be uh, asleep while you're playing Wand of Gamelon. I've only been following ZD for a few months now, but I've been using your walkthroughs ever since the first Legend of Zelda game I played, which was Wind Waker. I know Wind Waker is not your favorite game, ahem, <coughs> Mossies, ahem, <coughs> but it will always hold a special place in my heart. That's good for you. I like the Wind Waker. I haven't donated during the week, but in case you haven't, Already figured it out. I've enclosed some money. Anyway, thanks for an awesome marathon. Please write back. Kaylee from California. Uh, Kaylee <laughs> enclosed a $5 bill, which you really shouldn't send money over the mail. I heard that's not a good thing uh, for various reasons. But um, I will donate $5 to Child's Play in your name. Uh, so thanks for the, no the donation. Uh, we raised over $5,000 during the Zelda Dungeon Marathon for Child's Play, and this will be an additional $5 to the charity. So, thanks, Kylie. Much appreciated. Okay. Let's see. We are down to five letters. Let's see if we can get through these. Next one comes from Anthony Tran of Peoria, Illinois, and he writes, For you, Mossies. And he includes... A Pokemon card, it's like a, I guess that's a hologram, of Articuno, level 46, Nose Blizzard. And I guess he included this because I mentioned that Articuno is one of my favorite Pokemon. Even though Articuno is not really used that much in competitive battles, I've always liked Articuno for whatever reason. And, uh, yeah, thanks. That's really cool. I'm going to put this in a little case. Grab one for my old baseball card collection. So, thank you. Ah, and in fact, uh, Anthony actually sent in a second piece of, second letter actually. This is it right here, yep. And he writes, By the way, Mossies, as an add-on to the Pokemon I sent you, Pokemon card, I would also like to give you a limited edition Zelda 3DS prepaid card. P.S. I would also like an autograph from everyone if that's not too much to ask for. I also include a return envelope. 
Uh, well, unfortunately, I'm the only one here. I will send something back to you. Uh, and thank you for the prepaid card. Not sure if it's used. I think it is used, but in any case, uh, I will put it on display because uh, I collect virtually anything Zelda related. So thank you for not only the card, but also for the, well, the other card, the Pokemon card. That is very much appreciated, Anthony. Alright, so we are down to three more letters. Let's get through these ones. This one comes from Peyton of Matherville, Illinois. Which is not that far from me, actually. And he writes, pull out the letter. Dear Zelda Dungeon people, you guys rock. It is super cool that we all are able to play Zelda all day. Super awesome that you guys are donating the money to charity. I'm a huge Zelda fan and a huge Zelda Dungeon fan. Thank you so much for putting this marathon on. It is really... I'm impressive that you are all able to do this for days. Huge fan, Peyton, aka Lone Wolf. Uh, thank you, Peyton. And Peyton enclosed a $5 check uh, made towards uh, the child's play donation. Uh, I don't want to show it because it has his address on it, but uh, Peyton, I will cash this and send this in for child's play. That's an additional $5 for the charity. So thank you guys and uh, it is much appreciated. Okay, down to the final two. Next one comes from Logan of Onianta can't really pronounce it. New York. So Logan from New York. I'll leave it at that. And he writes, Dear Zelda Dungeon, I have loved watching your stream. You guys have inspired me and my friends to do the same. How do you guys put console and other game on the stream? Me and my friends are noobs at this. Could you give advice? Uh, we used XSplit, which allows you to use several inputs. You can actually capture your screen, you can put pictures, you can put little scroll bars of text, all sorts of different things all at once on one stream, and then you can broadcast it to Twitch TV, to Justin TV, to Ustream, uh, etc. Uh, it's, a, it's a very cool program, and it doesn't afraid of anything. But uh, thanks for the letter, Logan, and good luck with your streams. I know streaming games has become a very popular thing, and there's a whole community at twitch.tv, so um, I wish you luck. Alright, last but not least comes from Hannah of Battleground, Washington. And she writes, if I can open this thing. Dear Zelda Dungeon, guys, I'm so excited to finally send you guys fan mail. I've been keeping up with the website and walkthrough since 2009. However, I only just joined the forums lately. Eh, well you guys are absolutely amazing. I couldn't ever beat Zelda games as fast. I would for one definitely die a lot more. Oh, referring to Zelda. Uh, <laughs> I should definitely step it up and actually apply for a position of the website. Haha. <laughs> Anywho, I love the marathon and what you guys did for the Child's Play charity. Pretty awesome and pro. Hannah, ZD user, beer seat. Uh, and then she also drew a choo-choo, which is in the Wind Waker style. Because she knows how much Mossies loves Wind Waker. And Josh, too. Sarcasm. And then here's her picture. Uh, I think it's pretty sweet. Actually, that's pretty good, if you ask me. Uh, so that's going to do it for fan mail this, for this occasion. I will be doing this whenever I get enough pieces in the mail. Uh, you can send your letters, your packages, games, anything you really want to send, items you want me to review, uh, stuff I can make collection videos about, and uh, I'll play them. Uh, for example, Dark, uh, Dark Master wrote us a letter which we opened up during the first video, and he included in it um, a copy of a rare... CDI game titled Who Shot Johnny Rock. Um, never even heard of this game, but it's for the CDI. 
and uh, I will I will be live streaming it on Twitch TV Sunday night at probably around 8 or 9 p.m. U.S. Central Time. So uh, check us out. I will be streaming this, and again, if you want to send anything in, you want me to play it, you want me to stream, I can make collection videos, just read it, answer questions, whatever it is. I'm not sure what I'm going to make of this section, of this uh, series of snail mail openings, but um, I think it's going to be fun, I think it's going to be, going to be cool, and uh, you can send virtually anything into the P.O. Box, which has the address below. So I have no idea how long this ran. I think we're pushing 20 minutes. So that's going to pretty much do it this time. And I will see you guys maybe in a week or so next time I make my way over to the P.O. Box and see what other goodies you guys sent in. So I'll see you guys next week or on Sunday evening for the stream of Who Shot Johnny Rock. All right, guys. Take care.